think I should get started. Um, my name is Aisha Shahid and I'm from Pakistan and currently living and working in Cyprus. Um, I'm working as a senior lecturer at Social Sciences University of Ankara and I'm also doing my PhD in ELT from Cyprus International University. Um, while working at uh, Social Sciences University of Ankara in the English Preparatory School, uh, I come across a lot of students um, from different proficiency levels. Um, I have students um, from uh, A2 level, from B1, C2. I have students of all proficiency levels and uh, uh, I have students from almost all uh, different places. I have students from Asia, I have students from Europe. So it's like a very intercultural classroom. And one thing which is, uh, one problem which is very common to all students is their writing. Um, doing writing activities um, they go along fine with the reading speaking and listening but writing is always challenging so that's why i thought why not i incorporate um, uh, writing with ai and talk a bit about it so my topic today is ai powered writing supporting esl learners so let's begin. First of all, I will give you a short introduction about what I'm going to talk about. I'm going to talk in my presentation about um, how I can explore AI in enhancing ESL learning uh, through um, uh, artificial intelligence. We all know different softwares like ChatGPT and many others. So I'm going to talk a bit about how they can actually improve the writing capabilities of ESL students. And uh, also I will talk about few very important and essential um, AI softwares that the teachers can use. Secondly, I, I will talk about the potential impact on language acquisition and skill development this, that these softwares uh, bring into uh, ESL classrooms. Okay, so before uh, moving towards AI, what are the different challenges that we have in ESL learning? The most uh, important challenge is the grammatical mistakes. Either we have students from A2 level or we have students at the C2 level, all of them um, find grammatical problems, uh, all of them encounter grammatical problems and find it very challenging to, you know, overcome or correct it. So uh, this is a very big challenge. Across with, we have vocabulary, because when we talk about formal writing, we use a different kind of vocabulary words. We uh, prefer formal um, vocabulary or lexical resources. When we're talking about uh, informal language, we talk about different kind of vocabulary words. So choosing what kind of words do they need in different kind of writing, either it's academic or it's um, you know informal writing. So it could be a challenge. Thirdly, we have different cultural subtleties as well, which are also quite challenging when it comes to writing. So how we can incorporate AI powered writing assistance. Um, so exploring the capabilities of AI in providing real time grammar correction, it can enhance vocabulary and it can uh, improve cultural context insights as well, because we have different, you know, factors that are related to cultures. Uh, certain um, aspects are used in one culture of language and certain are used in the other. So culture also plays a very important part in um, the writing. And then demonstrating the potential for personalized learning experiences. We can use AI powered writing for personal feedbacks, for personal recommendation, and we can um, make, make use of it to give, uh, you know, personalized recommendations to students. Um, uh, depending on you know uh, the kind of feedback or the kind of uh, you know help they require in their writing. So what is the benefit of AI for ESL learners? The first important benefit is that it gives immediate feedback. It talks about personalized recommendations. We have language development and finally we have self-assessment. So we will explore all these four sections into detail. If I talk about immediate feedback, so writing style analysis tools provide instant feedback on various aspects of writing, allowing ESL learners to identify areas for improvement to make corrections in real time. So some students have a problem with grammar, some students have problem with um, 
punctuation. Some students have problem with generating coherence and uh, cohesion in their writing. So every student requires a different kind of feedback or different kind of help with their writing. So uh, using AI, we can quickly target, you know, find out which areas the students require more feedback and we can target those areas to provide uh, instant or immediate feedback. Personalized recommendations. Uh, AI tools offer personalized recommendations based on specific strengths and weaknesses of each learners helping them focus on areas where they need the most support. For example, in my students, uh, probably the students coming from Asia, they have, uh, you know, not a very strong grasp on uh, grammar. They, they uh, need more assistance on grammar as compared to vocabulary. So if we have multicultural classrooms, every student needs, you know, personalized feedback, personalized recommendations. So AI can be very helpful in, you know, um, finding out the targeted areas and providing um, efficient support in this regard. Language development, um, by analyzing the writing style, ESL learners can get insights into the conventions of academic and professional writing in their target language. So it's important they can get insight in their target language as well. For example, if they find, you know, um, English too difficult or if they're at the very beginning step, if they're at the A2 or A1 level, they can, you know, incorporate feedbacks from the native language to, uh, you know, um, learn in a better way, to improve English in a better way. They can, you know, get feedback in their native language and then, you know, incorporate that feedback successfully in English and leading to language development and improved proficiency. Self-assessment, it's also an important um, you know, benefit of AI. So writing style analysis encourages self-assessment and reflection among ESL learners, empowering them to take ownership of their writing skills and monitor their progress over time. So the students can use it actually, I'm not just talking about chat GPT because when we talk about chat GPT, uh, we also talk about plagiarism and how students cheat from there. So it's it's not that the students are just, you know, giving the command to a software, they're copy and pasting it, but I'm just talking about those softwares in which the students can, you know, uh, paste their, uh, for example, if they have written uh, an essay, they can paste their essay and then they can, you know, uh, find out the different grammatical problems they have. For example, if the tone is informal and they have to write a formal essay and, you know, they can, you know, find out what kind of vocabulary words do they need to find, need to replace. So I'm talking about those softwares which can actually improve their writing capabilities. Personalized learning experience, AI can analyze individual writing patterns, provide tailored feedbacks, and offer targeted language exercises, emphasizing the importance of personalized learning paths for ESL students. So these are the uh, targeted points which uh, I wanted to discuss that AI can use to improve the sentence structure of students, it can increase the readability factor of their writings, it can generate coherence and it can talk about tone and voice in their writing and finally how consistent their writing is. So uh, AI websites can be used to you know talk about all these things. If I talk about sentence structure so how sentence structure can be improved for example in my classrooms uh, there are students who just you know prefer to write simple sentences because it's easy for them to write but uh, when when i talk about compound or complex sentences it becomes difficult for them or for example they can make correct simple sentences but when it comes to compound sentences or complex sentences uh, they make a lot of grammatical problems a lot of grammatical mistakes and no matter how much you try to you know um, highlight their mistake every time they come up with you know different kind of mistakes so in this regard ai softwares can be very helpful to provide them you know tailored feedback so ai tools can analyze the complexity and variety of sentence structures used in a piece of writing for example, if their essay only incorporates simple sentences, so there are different AI softwares, which I will talk about later in this presentation, which can give them feedback that, okay, your um, writing has 
just simple sentences. For example, it has just one complex sentences and you should add more complex sentences or there is no compound sentence, you should add compound sentence as well. So these software gives such feedback to students to you know, make them uh, uh, make their writing more efficient and helpful. Secondly, it includes identifying run-on sentences, if they are fragments and not complete sentences, if the passive voice is used incorrectly, and the sentence length variation. For example, in my classes, um, there are students uh, who just keep on writing, writing, and writing, uh, and it becomes one paragraph is like one sentence. So I'm sure all of you have also encountered such a problem. So these offers can you know help them uh, to recognize that if their sentences are too short or if the sentences are too long, and um, uh, you know um, tailor to it accordingly. And what's the benefit of it for ESL learners? Understanding sentence structure is crucial for improving readability and clarity in their writing. For example, if they make such long sentences or if the sentences are too short, it really impacts the readability factor of their writing. And you know, it um, doesn't make the writing appear more clear. It affects the clarity of their writing. So to improve readability and clarity, Sentence structure is very important and there are AI softwares that can help the students to improve uh, the sentence structure of their writing. Readability. So what about readability? Writing style analysis tools assess the readability of a text by analyzing factors such as sentence length, word choice and complexity. Word choice is very important. For example, if you ask the students to write an academic paragraph and if they use all the informal you know, words, informal vocabulary, or if they are jargons uh, or such words, um, it's not a you know, good piece of writing. So word choice is very important. It's very important to choose the lexical resources accordingly. So uh, if they do not use the lexical resources according to you know, the, the requirement of the piece of writing, it's going to affect the readability of their writing. So to improve the readability, there are softwares that you know, uh, check if your lexical resources match with you know, the requirement of your um, piece of writing or not. Or for example, if they're writing an informal uh, letter, to a family member or to a friend and they use a lot of academic words so it's not going to make sense okay so in that case such softwares or ai tools can help them to you know give an idea that you should use informal words or you should use more personal words and avoid academic words in this case so they may provide readability scores so readability scores are there um, for example if you copy and paste your piece of writing and then ask the software to give you, you know, readability score, uh, for example, out of 10 or out of 100. So you can get to know that how efficient your piece of writing is to the readers. So it gives suggestions for readability scores. It gives suggestions for simplifying sentences or make them more accessible to the readers. And so what's the benefit? It is particularly helpful for ESL learners who may struggle with complex sentence structures or academic language. Right. So these two um, are the, the you, know, you can say the targeting points, um, sentence structure and academic language in which the readability factor is uh, very important. Coherence. Uh, coherence is always challenging with the students. Sometimes they keep on writing, but uh, the sentences are good, the structure is good, even if sometimes there are no grammatical mistakes, but the sentences, uh, they actually don't go along with each other, they don't make a sense. It looks like, you know, the piece of writing is fragmented or separated, the ideas doesn't connect with each other. So it's very important to generate coherence in your piece of writing. Uh, and obviously when we, you know, uh, go through their piece of writing for exams, we also check how coherent the piece of writing is. So there are AI tools that can actually help them to find out what kind of mistakes are there in the piece of writing and how they can actually resolve it. So AI tools evaluate the coherence and flow of a piece of writing by analyzing the transition between sentences and paragraphs. So it's very important uh, to connect to or to bridge two paragraphs and to bridge the two sentences as well. So they can give insights on this. They can identify abrupt shift in topic or logic, repetitive phrases, 
an unclear connection between ideas. So this thing is very important. Sometimes the ideas are not very clear, or sometimes, you know, the ideas are clear, but they're not connecting with each other, although the language is good. Um, so these AI tools can give insights on this. So improving coherence and flow is essential to ESL learners who communicate their ideas effectively and engage the readers. Tone and voice, um, a writing style analysis tools can detect the tone and voice used in a piece of writing, such as formal, informal, persuasive, or descriptive. Um, for example, in my classroom, whenever we practice the writing uh, module, uh, and if you're talking about essay writing, uh, the students are very much confused uh, that how to write a descriptive essay, how to write a persuasive essay, or how to write other types of essays, because uh, when we talk about, for example, descriptive essay, the tone or the style of writing is different as compared to persuasive essay. So um, it's not good if they use the similar tone or the similar structure of the essay for both these types of essays. So it's not gonna you know, make sense. So AI tools can help them to find out what's the difference between tone and voice in different kinds of essays or different kinds of you know, paragraph writing as well. So they may provide feedback on appropriateness of the tone for intended audience and purpose of writing. So audience and purpose of writing, it's important here. And understanding the tone and voice helps the ESL learners to develop their writing style and adapt it to different contexts. So context is very important whenever you're writing. You need to understand um, who is the targeted audience for your writing and uh, who you're writing for and which context you're talking about. Consistency. So AI tools check for consistency in formatting, in punctuation, and grammar throughout a piece of writing. They may highlight inconsistencies in spelling or punctuation uh, usage and suggest corrections to adhere to standard convention. Um, for example, in my class, it it's, happens quite often that sometimes students are using the academic, uh, the students are using the spellings for uh, you know, British uh, vocabulary and sometimes they're using for American. So it kind of it creates uh, inconsistency among the piece of writing. As, as some places they are using the American spelling, some places they are using the uh, British spelling. So it creates um, inconsistency in the writing. So they can use AI softwares for this to ensure that their writing is very much consistent uh, with each other. So consistency is essential for ESL learners to establish credibility and professionalism in the writing. So I have talked about all these things that uh, in the uh, in the writing it should have good readability scores. It should be coherent. It should follow the tone and voice of the you know uh, particular um, uh, question that ever you have. So which websites are good for writing? Of course, there are so many websites. Um, a lot of people talk about ChatGPT, but there are some other specific softwares that you can you know encourage your students to use. Uh, if we talk about ChatGPT, what the students normally do, they just go there, um, they copy and paste, and they cheat, which also, you know, increases the plagiarism. Um, and there are many AI detectors which, you know, find out that this text is copied from, you know, any AI software. The point is not that the students should go and copy the entire paragraphs and just paste, but the point is that they should uh, paste copy and paste their own original piece of writing to find out which mistakes or errors are there in their piece of writing. Uh, the first software that I want to talk about is Grammarly. I'm sure all of you have heard it and maybe you have used it somewhere in your career or in your um, life as well. So Grammarly is very good. Um, I have also attached the you know link for it uh, the website link so you can also go and check it from there. So Grammarly is a very popular AI powered writing assistant. It helps the user improve their grammar, punctuation and spelling. For example, if you have copy and pasted a paragraph that has a lot of spelling errors, punctuation and other grammatical problems, so it will highlight all of these. Okay, and it will also tell you if your uh, writing passage conveys a formal tone, if it contains uh, conveys an informal tone, or if 
it follows an academic way of writing or a professional way of writing so it will give you feedback on all these things the second ai tool which i want to talk about is hamingway editor it's also a very good uh, software i have also attached you know the link for the website you can go and check from there so what it is mostly used for it evaluates the readability of text that how good the text is for readers and it actually gives you score uh, as well that for example out of 100 how much scores does your piece of writing get uh, in terms of readability uh, it uh, improves the readability of the text by highlighting complex sentences passive voice uses, adverb overuse, and other readability issues. So it will target all those issues and provide you a feedback that, okay, this thing is lagging in your writing or this thing is excessive in your writing and you need to you know, fix this issue. And it provides a readability score and suggestions for simplifying text to improve clarity and comprehension. The next offer is Pro Writing Aid. Again, I have uh, mention the link of the website here as well so you can go and check from there. The writing analysis tool that offers feedback on grammar, style, readability and more. So it kind of provides a complete package. It offers you feedback on everything. It provides detailed reports on various aspects of writing styles including sentence structure, word choice and consistency so it's going to talk about if your piece of writing is consistent if it has a similar writing pattern throughout or if they are you know um, inconsistent um, uh, inconsistency in your piece of writing that you need to fix it offers a special feature uh, which is called consistency check that helps users to maintain consistency in formatting punctuation and writing style throughout their document so you can check how consistent the piece of writing is and in which part it lacks consistency. For example, it lacks consistency in grammar, it lacks a consistency in punctuation, or if it lacks consistency in vocabulary or any other feature, and you can particularly you know, work on that area. It identifies inconsistencies and provides suggestions for maintaining uniformity. Okay, the next software is academic plagiarism. Of course, uh, it's good for the students to know that uh, if the work is plagiarized or not. I have also attached the link of the website. So academic plagiarism is AI powered plagiarism detection tool that helps users identify and prevent plagiarism in their writing. It compares submitted text against a vast database of academic and online sources to detect similarities and provide detailed plagiarism reports. So it can also be useful for the ESL students to find out if their work is original or if, you know, if it's not. For example, if they seek help from somewhere, you can find out if they have you know, cheated from somewhere or if not. Qtex, it's another plagiarism detector that offers advanced features for identifying and addressing plagiarism in writing. For example, if your students have cheated for, uh, from ChatGPT, you can you know, use the software to find out if they have or not. It provides a user-friendly interface and comprehensive plagiarism report to help users maintain academic integrity. And I have also mentioned the website um, of this AI tool that you can use to access it. So most of these uh, softwares are free. Um, they have a free version and they have a paid version as well. So what you can do is you can go over there and um, use the free version. And if you want, you can pay uh, a few amount and use you know, the premium features as well. So it depends on you. So moving towards the end of my presentation, let's talk about what will be the future trends of AI in writing. Of course, we talk about augmented reality and virtual reality integration. Um, this is not very popular right now, but it will be expected to be more popular in the coming years. Uh, my next presentation is also on this topic, so I will talk more about this um, AR and VR reality integration into language teaching. But uh, what's general that virtual training workshops, interactive simulations, and virtual tutors could provide hands-on practice and personalized feedback in a virtual environment on how to use and how to effectively incorporate these AI softwares into the language teaching classrooms. 
implementation strategies, so practical approaches for integrating AI-powered writing support into ESL classrooms, including teacher training, and we should have student engagement and leveraging AI as supplemental learning tool. So AI should not be, you know, the prime supplement, a prime learning tool. It should just be the supplemental learning tool, and it should just be as a helping tool for the students and for the teachers, and uh, they should not completely depend on it. So moving towards the conclusion, uh, embracing AI-powered writing support makes a transformative step towards ESL education. As we anticipate future trends, it's clear that personalized, interactive, and context-aware tools can enhance language learning experiences. By harnessing the potential of AI, we empower ESL learners to develop their writing skills with confidence and proficiency in academic, ever-involving linguistic landscape. So basically, AI tools should be there to help the ESL students and the ESL teachers as well. They should be a supplemental tool, not the primary tool. Um, they should be there to help them, to give them extra support. But of course, the role of teacher is uh, there and you cannot you know, just overcome that. So that's my whole idea of presentation and thank you very much for listening to me. If you have any questions, I'm open to questions um, or if you have any feedback or any suggestions, um, you can give it to me. I have also attached my email address here, so if you have any suggestion later on, you can also, you know, say it to me or write to me.